Welcome survivors to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. In today's video, we're gonna be continuing on our mod review series. This video is going to be a little bit different. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna be looking at premium mods. We're gonna look at three premium mods today, which are the Quantum Structure Skin Mod from Sandy underscore double zero, the Amissa Skin Cosmetics Mod from Klinger Martins, and the Arcadian Structure Skins mod from sandy underscore double zero that is the only difference that's going to be in this video from our previous video in this series now one thing that is going to stay constant through this is we're going to look at each one of these in three categories ease of use paintability and aesthetics they will be a maximum available points of five points per category giving the modder the ability to get up to 15 points total but before we get started, we're going to look over on how to access your custom cosmetics. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your menu and you're going to go to the little eyeball icon that says custom cosmetics. Once you click, if you're hovering over, it, it'll come up. If it does not, name does not come up, go over to the toggle tool tips and that will bring up your labels. You click on that little eyeball, it'll bring up another window. On your right hand side, you'll have all your custom cosmetics available to you on your server. On the right hand side, on the left hand side, you will have little cutout icons that will go along with it. So you'll grab the skin that you want to use. In this case, we're going to grab the quantum set skin. And we're going to, once we grab it, it'll highlight which skin mod it can go into. In this case, the structures. Once I put it in there, in this case, it drops down to my hotbar because the that's where that skin can go to. That's going to come in handy in our ease of use category. Once you're done with that, you're then going to hit the back to inventory button and you should be good to go. The first mod we're going to be looking at is the Quantum Structure Skins mod. This mod has nine separate skins for us to use. Eight of which are for your structures, one of which are for your inventory as well as your other structures such as your decor structures. We're going to go through each one of these starting with the quantum skin. Once we do that, we'll then go through the other ones and show how they work. So, as you can see, these skins work on both your cellar doors, your dino gates, as well as your behemoth gate and behemoth gateways. They work on all of your standard structures to in except for your ladder. Now, there is one and your door for your hatch. There is one little thing that's crazy about what Sandy does to all of his mods. He gives us a little secret in here, and we'll get to that in just a second. Once we look at all of these, as you can see, they are all very unique, and they give a different look through it. The one constant you will see is the lights going through as the doors. Now, the fence set does not work on your staircase or your ladder. Now, remember, earlier I said Sandy gives us a little special treat in all of our mods. Not only can it drop in, to, can the skin drop into our hotbar for ease of use, it also has a decor wheel or a settings wheel where we can go in and we can rotate and change the, the size of the skins. Now, mind you, when you rotate it and change the size of the skins, it does not change the actual collision of the item it just changes the visual effect that it has on top of that in some of these you will see in just a moment you can change the variant of the skin and it depends on which skin pack you are using on how you can change it some of them give you a simple change of how it looks some of them you can change the color of the lights again it's all dependent on that individual skin pack that you're using for your structures and this one we're going to show you the light see changes it to blue you can also change it to i believe red and white so you can have that red white and blue look for you what you see in front of us are the last four skins in this particular structure pack which are all slightly different than the previous four you have a white and black, you have a matte black, you have a more technicolor and light and tech look to it, and then you have the X pattern 
text look, tech look. And when you go into here, you can actually see on each one, it's slightly different. This one gives us a purple light, a blue light, and a red light versus the standard than the other white light that we saw before. And if you were wondering, yes, this skin pack does work on cliff and tree platforms. However, I do not have the tree platforms available in this area that I am recording this at. Now, the last part of this mod pack is the decor and crafting station skins. We have the double uh, the bunk beds and the regular beds which turn into the regular bed turns into a pod almost like your tech pod. Let's jump in there and see how it looks. We'll go in, access. Okay, so there's a slight clipping there. Slight clipping, but remember we can change the visuals on that where we can enlarge it so that it makes it a little easier. We have a bed, uh, sorry, a couch, two chairs, I believe. Let's pop in all these chairs and take a quick look at the variants that he gives us. And sure enough, we have two variants. Then we have two variants on this couch. We have a love seat, and then we have a larger couch. Let's see how this looks with my little itty bitty character here. Oh, yep, just the two variants. I was hoping for a third one, but let's see how I look sitting on this thing. I have a short character, because I'm short, and I like it to look like me. Oh, look, I, my feet are swinging. My feet are swinging. These are quite beautiful. Uh, what else does this pack have to offer? We have two tables here. Let's see how they look. That first table looks really good, and we're going to go into the wheel, and we have a variant for a two variant. So there's two variants for the table. They both look very futuristic. Your storage compartments has a... Variant that is paintable, so that tells us that you can paint them as long as you're on that variant. That's quite awesome. Okay, makes it easier to figure out and answers one of the questions that we're going to have later on. The other variants we have here, we have paintable and the large drawer. So we have three variants for the storage boxes. You have the default, which is black and light lit up, and you have the large drawer, and you have the labeled paintable variant and the libraries or blueprint boxes you have the same thing i believe you have the paintable and uh well just the paintable and the default then we have our small storage boxes it does not work on the decor box in this one you have the paintable and the drawers, as well as the default. So you have three in this one as well. Let's see how this looks on our crafting stations. The smithy, okay, that is BA. Right there, that is BA right there. That is awesome. That looks amazing. There's no variance in it, but you can still in, uh, change the, the size and the rotation of it. The Kim bench, uh, amazing job there. Another one that looks awesome. The Fabricator. Oh, look at that futuristic Fabricator. The Water Reservoir does not appear to work on the toilets. Uh, your Industrial Grill. Your Industrial Cooker. Nice. Nice. Your Vaults. <clears throat> that looks amazing on the Vault. Your Generator. Let's see, just to double check. Yep, does not work on the toilet. Does not work on the faucet, apparently. Works on your Teleporters. If it works on those two, it's probably going to work on the large one. Just saying. You can rotate and change the scale, but you cannot change the style of it, so there's no variance in that one. Then you have your industrial uh, forge. Does it work on your tech? Yes, it does. It works on the replicator and your generator, as well as your uh, dedicated storage boxes. Okay, so one of my pet peeves here. If we're going to mess with the storage boxes, the dedicated storage boxes, one of the key features is being able to see the items that's in it, that little icon that comes up. This skin does not appear to allow that to happen. So, while it, I like the look of them, and I think you could have a lot of fun with it, not having that icon right there, kind of, it's one of my little pet peeves. But that's just me. If you don't want it, that's up to you. So I'll leave that to you. 
Now, let's move on to paint ability. Now, mind you, just like with all uh, skin packs, paint ability can change from skin pack to skin pack. And these particular skins, looks like if it's a white, if it has white on it, it will paint. So, and depending on the structure, the underlying structure itself. And it looks like it keeps the true color that we're putting on there. We're using a teal, and it's coming out teal. Obviously, the black's not going to change. Let's see if these whites change here. They do. So, it's pretty paintable. So, that was the Quantum Structure Skin from Sandy underscore double zero. So, let's get into the grading for this mod. For ease of use, I find it very easy to use. A little cumbersome, but it has a couple bonus points. One, it goes directly into your hotbar, so it makes it easier to use. You don't have to bounce back and forth between your custom cosmetics tab. Two, it gives you the radial wheel to be able to change your visual effects on each skin, depending on its skin. So for that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Paintability. Paintability is a hard one for this one. Only certain zones are paintable, as you saw, and it is highly dependent on the skin or variant that you are using. So for those two reasons, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5 on paintability. Aesthetics. How it looks. I found this to be a very interesting and beautiful mod. I think he did a great job with it aesthetically. However, I feel that for my pet peeve, as I stated earlier, I got to take a point off for the icons not showing up in the for the inventory of the dedicated storage boxes. And I feel that he could have done more with the doorways. Having all the doorways having the same beams going across, I think it could go a little better with the different colors or skins that he has. So for that reason, I'm giving this a 3 out of 5 on aesthetics. That brings the total up to 11 out of 15, a very respectable score for our first submission. For our second submission, we have the Skin Cosmetics Amissa Structure Set from Klinger Martins. This particular skin set brings the visuals from the Amissa Structures and Amissa Map on unofficial servers to the official servers for our enjoyment. This structure set is a little special. It actually has 12 skins. Now, think about that. 12 skins. That's a lot of skins, right? Well, yes and no. These skins work on your structures as well as your decor map uh, items. And it has a specialty where the exact same ones, except for they remove the environmental effects of the game that show up on your structures. So like if you're in Scorched Earth, the dust that shows up on the structures, or if you're in the snow, the snow that shows up in the structures. If you don't want them showing up on the inside of the house, but only on the outside, this will allow you to do that. So the first skin that we're gonna look at for this particular skin mod works on every structure except for your trapdoors, your staircase, and your ladders. It works on your pillars, and as well as your doors, which gives this very ornate look. It's absolutely gorgeous. It gives a different style of roofs as well with that curved look. It's absolutely visually stunning. Now the second pack only works on your roofs and ramps. It works on no other structures for that. What that does is it turns all your roofs from the curved look that we had in the first one to a smooth roof that are not available in the first pack. As you see here, you see the first one has that nice curve, the second one does not, it makes it flat. The third skin only works on your triangle roof, your regular roof, as well as your ramp. It turns the regular roof and the triangle roof into stairs and it turns your ramps flat again, just like the previous one. Now, the fourth skin in this pack is your ornate skin. What this does, it works on your sloped walls, makes that a nice ornate curve. It also gives you a lovely visual of your doors where they turn wood instead of that ornate look in the first pack here. 
Furthermore, it changes your foundations and your ceiling tiles to include your quarters and your triangle ceiling tiles and foundations. As you see, for the foundations, it gives a nice wood top. And then for the quarter ceilings, it turns them into almost grates. Now, this is the same effect that it has on your quarter walls as well, where you have that great look and it gives your railings a different style as well. You also get two different styles with your thick beams and pillars. It does not work on the fin. Now, all of these skins work on, the first skin works on your behemoth gate and dino gates. It turns the doors into walls look, but they still function, fully function as doors. It just gives that lovely visual of a solid wall going along it. And in my opinion, gives more depth to the build. Now let's move on to the cosmetics for the structure set. Okay, so right here you see the feeding troughs. That is a very nice touch. It gives, us, gives them a brick look that goes along with that motif. It's absolutely beautiful. Then the first skin works on all of the other ones that we saw earlier. This is your industrial forge, turns into that. That is your water container. Then you have your industrial grill, industrial cooker, your chem bench, and your smithy, your small storage boxes, your bookshelves, which I think are beautiful with that design. Then your storage containers, your large storage containers, absolutely gorgeous, as well as your benches, your chairs, and your beds. Now, I think I forgot to put the bench in there. Let's get the bench put in there right about after we look at these chairs. And the bench will be there right here. Here it is. I knew I forgot something. Let's get that on there for you. So we're going to go here, and we got the bench. All right. Now... All of these are 100% paintable. So I'm gonna attach all of them. And as you see, they all are paintable. It changes all areas of, the, of that skin. So it is affected by the zones, but gives a lovely color. Now, the only thing that I see is that, unlike some of the other ones, it does give us a true color. It also works on the behemoth gates and dino gates here just to prove the point a little bit more uh, i'm out of paint more paint yay more paint okay absolutely beautiful does it work on the decor it also works on the decor which means everything in here is paintable and yep Now, it does work on the dedicated storage boxes, but again, that pet peeve of mine, the images aren't showing up in the dedicated storage box of what's in there. Again, that's my hang up, not yours. And for the emissigrating, ease of use, the only issue I see with it is the fact that it is not going your hot bar. So I would give this a four out of five. Paintability, this one excelled in that it is a five out of five, all zones work, all structures are paintable. Absolutely great job on the paintability for this mod set. So that is a five out of five. Now aesthetics, the only issue, only issue I have with the aesthetics on this one, again, this is on me, not, if you're fine with it, that's cool, is that you can't get the visuals on the uh, dedicated storage box skins. So for me, that makes it a 4 out of 5, which brings this one to a total of 13 out of 15, which is absolutely outstanding of a score for our second submission. For our third and final submission for this showcase, we have the Arcadian Structure Skins. This skin set has four skins that come with it. Now keep in mind, it while it does not have your decor and 
crafting station skins, there is a separate skin mod that is free for this set that has those skins in there. I will be including it in our next mod showcase for free mods for official. So stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's take a look at this mod. As stated earlier, this mod set has four skins that come with it. Now, we have to keep in mind that this is a Sandy underscore zero mod. As you can see, it goes into our hotbar, which makes it ease of use go up. And we also have to think about the fact that it has, as all as others, has a radial wheel, as you will see. The first skin set we have is the plank. It works on all your structures except for your ladder. And as you see, it has some very ornate details where you can rotate and change the skin size of it. Now, each one of these is very unique. If you look at the doors, it gives that nice country feel. It's absolutely gorgeous. The beams are very ornate and beautiful. It gives that bay window look with an interior bay. Then you have a ivy set. This ivy set is very gorgeous. It gives that white cobblestone look almost. Uh, as you see, it works in the same principle as the previous set where it works on everything except for your stairs, or sorry, your ladder. The uniqueness of this is it shows the ivy on the, and on the structures as well as what looks like grass growing on your roof, which is absolutely amazing. Next, you have, I cannot pronounce this one, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce the name of it, but it gives this nice gray look and a uh, shingled gray roofs while giving you that nice ornate glass look on your walls and your doors. And the last set here only works on your roofs, your ceiling tiles, and your foundations. And it works on all of them to include your triangle and your quarter ceiling foundations and walls. And it also works on all your roofs. Now this one holds a special secret in it. We'll show you in just a moment. As you see, the initial one looks like grass, which is absolutely gorgeous. You go into the wheel and the foundations give you a path, which looks gorgeous, a path option. It also gives you an option for a fish pond, a koi fish pond with the fish actually swimming in it. It's absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. It changes the bottom of it, makes it look like it's a, a wooden foundation, but that's absolutely beautiful. Then, of course, wait, it's not done. He's got more hidden for us. We go past the path in the koi pond. We go to a regular pond. He has outdone himself on this one. Wait, we're still not done. Koi pond, pond, clear water. Now, this goes for all of your foundations with slight differences. Like this one gives you your path, your brick path, and it gives you your, uh, your pond, or clear water rather. The triangle foundation only gives you the green default or clear water. So you can make pools that look like water in your structures. The ceiling tiles gives you a wooden path which is beautiful, as well as the koi fish pond and the clear water pond. And your brick and your clear water gives you the same four as your first one. That is absolutely amazing. It gives such beautiful depth to that particular skin. Now let's take a look at paint ability of these skins. Now, one thing I've noticed that with every skin we've tested with paintability, if it has a tint to the skin, it's gonna change the colors slightly. I think this one's gonna run into that same issue. While it is paintable, our teal comes out a little more green than teal. Although, it seems to affect all of the zones, which is an absolute plus. Now, the first three skins do work on your cellar doors, as well as your dino gates and behe gates that give a beautiful aesthetic to them. So I would say that it rounds it off quite well. So for the grading in the Arcadian structure skin mod, ease of use, it goes into the hot bar, there's not that many selections to make, so it's really easy to understand which ones you're going for, and the visuals are very helpful. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5 for ease of use. 
On paintability, though, it changes the colors of the paint based on the skin that you are using and the tints that are on it. So I'm going to have to deduct a point for that. So it's a four out of five for that from me. With aesthetics, I believe that he did an amazing job. It's absolutely beautiful. Each one's different yet ornate. It is a five out of five all day, every day for the aesthetics. That brings the total for this particular smod, skin mod or cosmetics mod to 14 out of 15. The highest score we've seen so far. Great job, Sandy. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and this content, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to keep track of the upcoming mod showcase videos coming up, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below on which mod you would like to see reviewed next.